started uh, about five years ago. Um, first entered the European and Asian markets. Uh, two partners own the company. The uh, manufacturing partner is South Korean and the management partner is Polish. So a lot of travel back and forth. But um, everything is manufactured in South Korea. Uh, all products are constructed in-house. Raw materials outsourced uh, from several countries and then built from the ground up at the, uh, at the Geon factories in South Korea. And then we're in uh, just over 50 individual country distributors um, at this point. And the brand's growing you know, very strongly. The first uh, integration in the US market was through uh, um, Todd and Esoteric. Um, introduced it, set up the, uh, the beginnings of the certified detailer program, um, put a lot of time and effort into really um, you know, generating some buzz in this brand. And then the next stage was kind of to partner directly with uh, Gion Quartz. And we have now um, company owned distribution in the States. Um, I came on just over two years ago. Um, as the national brand ambassador, and we've kind of just really built out some distribution, supported the uh, reseller team, built out the certified detailer program a bit, and really just trying to expose this line to you know a very boutique uh, uh, level of guys that are into car care. I am the U.S. kind of point of contact and where things start. So we import directly uh, from the factory here. Um, we have our warehouse in uh, Kansas City where we distribute to our team of resellers. Um, we decided early on we weren't gonna sell direct as Gion Quartz USA. Um, we don't wanna compete with the guys that are helping us build this brand. So we're a support function. So we do marketing, we do sales. I have my central office in Denver and we manage the certified detailer program. We put content promos together. We uh, launch new products. We really are kind of the entry point for Gion in the States and then filter that down to our team of resellers and support them in any way possible in terms of uh, growing brand recognition that way. What really differentiates Gion through some of the other top quality brands in the market is I think the breadth of the product offering itself. Um, I think we're very known for our coatings worldwide and a lot of the talk is around the coatings because they're fantastic. But Gion really is a full service start to finish car care brand where we have everything from your wash mediums, towels and mitts all the way up to long term pro certified um, coatings. And every product is really designed with user friendliness and really the easeability of using this product. You know, it was very easy in the early days of coatings in the US for something to be awesome. It had to also be very hard to use. And I think Gion's kind of bridged that gap with very, very user friendly products that give you above average quality and results. And, uh, you know, to have some nice packaging, have some feel going with it, have some personality behind it, and just have a full range of car care products that are designed for. You're at home, you know, weekend do-it-yourself guy that's super into it, all the way up to your full level pro shop uh, like Esoteric. founded in 1977 and they've been ma manufacturing adhesive backed films since then. They started with uh, screen protection technologies, um, also catering to the OEM market, manufacturing films for GM, Audi, Hyundai, Kia, things like that. Because of this, they've, they've learned a lot in the manufacturing process, how to make films that don't yellow, films that don't have issues with staining, extremely high gloss, and it's been a lot of back and forth with these manufacturers to get films to meet all this criteria. So now we've come to the, uh, to the, uh, to the retail market with high quality materials like this Dino Shield that's on this Porsche 991 Turbo S that you can't even see that it's on the car. And that's, you know, thanks to the guys at Esoteric doing a beautiful install. So we've been testing many different paint protection films for many years. And when we got some samples of Aztec, uh, when I first saw it, I really didn't think too much of it. We put it on a car, and the car went to the racetrack, and got rubber all over it, and when it came back, 
we can't, we started to clean it off, and I, I noticed I could literally wipe off track rubber with my finger. I could just wipe it off. No cleaner, no towel, just, just wipe it off. And at that point, I kind of got goosebumps because I've been in this industry for so long that there was nothing like this. And so at that point, I knew, okay, we got something real special here, and we need to go talk to these guys. Because we are a manufacturer, uh, we don't use somebody else to manufacture our products. Uh, we can create some really innovative things. Uh, we have a whole line of fashion films, and we have that in a matte finish. We also have a prism finish. Um, that this is, these are films that other manufacturers just have not come up with yet. I see a, a tremendous amount of growth in this company. So I know we have the right product. Uh, it's just making sure we get it in the, the hands of all the right people, the right installers, making sure the brand is represented well. Uh, and I think we're doing a pretty good job of doing that so far. So we're really making sure that we're getting it only into the right hands. Uh, and I think we're already getting some good PR. People are loving the product. Our customers love the product. Our installers love the product. And so I, I think uh, we're going to be one of the big competitors here very soon. First is not kamikaze collection. First is a kamikaze, just kamikaze, and uh, just quoting brand, quoting product name. Uh, when I on business trip in the other business in Bangkok, that time see uh, a lot of Japanese brand and selling just selling, and no follow and technique, no follow and support uh, quality control in their market in Thailand, Bangkok. Because I should be that time is. Uh, looking for uh, more technical and quality control and uh, export business. I, I think that time, uh, one of the theory of the Kamikaze brand. Mm. Then I am uh, that, that year, November Sima Show. At that time, I find in the USA market. And then I will build a brand in the Kamikaze collection for Eastern market. Uh, that is uh, uh, four years ago. I contact and talk to breeder as Zurich, and that time I just uh, ship out door gate stopper. Maybe this is uh, three years ago. No sticker label and our masking tape. This is the first time uh, business with Todd Cooper Reader and Esteric and Eastern USA country. Just few products start business in my business in the USA country. Kamikaze collection is building uh, mine and developing also mine, and the production also mine, and the ship out is also mine. This is our handmade uh, quality control in Japan, because uh, sometimes uh, there are ship out, <laughs> sometimes uh, missing some stock. But I should be control for not mass production for my quality control ship out for in the world market. I have uh, this industry from uh, 10 years ago. Uh, that time is Japanese, uh, Glass coating or ceramic coating is latest early start in on in the world market. That time, uh, five ten years ago, we have a uh, first guy in the team for non-solvent development chip in the world. And that time is I am also learning in the developing team in the non-solvent product because our product is most of non-solvent and VOC product and very small fine molecular product. This is uh, uh, only only one in Japanese technology. Are that because normally people say it easy application it, and the thickness layer and the gross thick. My uh, Kamikaze collection, one other theory is a Kaizen. Uh, Kaizen means is develop and develop and develop. 
problem, uh, solution or, or some, some problem, like a Toyota, like a Toyota, anytime upgrade. Because uh, any product uh, up, upgrade each year or some, sometimes coming new technology, update, update, update. Overcoat is uh, now is version three, and next next time coming version four, and I think Miyabi coat is also version up. That's why this is our kaizen uh, development. Uh, next time, cannot stop. <laughs> That's it, Kamikaze. Yeah. Jason Whiteley and I'm the national sales manager for uh, Sonex. It's a German-made product. The uh, company is, is owned by a fourth-generation family-owned company. Um, they started back in 1903 mining uh, a silicious earth in southern Germany in Bavaria. And in about 1950, right around that time, right after the war, they decided, uh, why don't we get into automobiles and using this mineral in a way that uh, can help people take care of their cars and maintain their cars. So their first auto polish was made in 1950 and the Sonex brand was born in 1950. So for uh, 67 years now they've been the car care of choice in Europe and in Germany and they've expanded now to over a hundred countries. Uh, and then in 2009 my owner Tony um, met the owner of Sonex and Hoffman Mineral and they decided that uh, Tony would be the um, exclusive distributor of Sonex in the United States. Over the last couple of years, we've been focusing a little bit more on the professional side. So uh, professional products for detailers, uh, for paint correction, paint protection, um, larger sizes so that uh, it's more economical for the detailer. And the, what truly differentiates Sonex is, is the engineering, the chemistry and the engineering that goes into developing and making these products. I mean, there's many, many people that can make a high-speed wax, or there's many people that can make some type of cleaner or whatever. To be able to really refine it so that it's a very stable, uh, very good, high product efficacy type product and do it on a large scale, that's really what separates Sonex from any other company. Just They have 30 R&D engineers that are constantly trying to develop uh, redevelop, re-engineer their products. So uh, a detailer, someone that's trying to clean their car, they can make it look really nice very quickly. And that's really what the difference is. The, the development on paint correction and paint protection is really, in the last 10 years, it's come you know, light years. I mean, for years it was kind of the standard, like three or four step paint correction process. And you have these heavy pastes and you use a rotary machine. I mean, everyone used a rotary machine 10 years ago. Now we've got these really nice DA machines. We've got uh, products that you can do one, maybe two steps and get a really nice finish. Protections gone, instead of just a wax, uh, you have coatings and you have sealants. And I think it's going in that direction um, and because people really, they're holding on to their cars longer. They appreciate them. They don't have them for a couple of years and then sell them. They have them 8, 10, 12, 15 years. So they really want to protect them. So, the coatings and the sealants are going to grow, they're going to keep growing. And from a detailing industry perspective, the detailers, you know, from their business perspective, the coatings and the paint protection films are very good for them. Uh, it's been hard for a lot of years to try and get someone to spend the money to get a paint correction. But if they can also protect it and make sure the customer is happy over the longevity of that vehicle, uh, that's where I think that's where I think the detailing industry is going to do very well financially and, and health-wise also.